a hardworking hairstylist who specializes in working with special needs children is heartbroken and she's struggling to go on tonight after her mobile hair salon was stolen over the weekend. Dee Foster is her name and she invested tens of thousands of dollars into that mobile studio to make it comfortable for children who won't go to a normal hair salon. Bill Spencer and the Spencer Solves team are stepping in to try and help and Bill is joining us now with a, another just a sad story, Bill, but you are there to save the day. Yeah, Daniela and Keith, Dee Foster is a single mother raising a 13-year-old daughter and running her own specialized hair salon business out of a mobile trailer. She's special because she works almost exclusively with kids with special needs, kids on the autism spectrum, kids with sensory problems. But tonight, she is effectively out of business because of what a group of thieves have done to her. This is my left bumper to my trailer. And what happened? How did it wind up here? Um, when the thieves busted out of the gate, they, uh, I don't know how, this is the left bumper, they busted it and it blew off. Hairstylist Dee here, Foster holds all that she has left of her $40,000 mobile hair salon. Her special equipped trailer was stolen over the weekend from this storage facility off of the Katy Freeway, and it is breaking her heart. So my goal was just to help all of my kids, even like the little babies who have never had haircuts or an older kid who may have a little bit of trauma. Since 2020, Miss D has been running her own specialized hair care business out of this mobile trailer. She specializes in helping children with special needs. A lot of them do have like Down syndrome, some have autism, some have, you know, they're hard of walking or some are nonverbal. Now, Miss D says she actually parked her mobile hair salon here at the extra space storage lot sometime around 2.30 Saturday afternoon. After that, sometime over the weekend, police say the thieves grabbed the vehicle and then smashed their way through this wrought iron gate and took off. At this point, they have no suspects. Valerie and Adon Navarez say Ms. D is the only person they will bring their five-year-old son, Lou, to be treated by. He has autism. He has been coming to her for a year and a half now and does not want to go anywhere else. With no arrests in this case and no suspects, now we at the Spencer Solves It team are trying to help Miss D get her mobile trailer back. If you've seen this vehicle or know where it may be, please contact me directly. I know this has broken your heart, D, but I'm going to try my very best to get either this trailer back for you or try to get you a new one. All right? We're going to take care of you. Thank you so much. All right? Thank you. So once again, tonight, I'm asking for your help out there. If you have seen this trailer, if you know where it may be, if you know who has it, please contact me directly at solvesit at kprc.com. That's solvesit at kprc.com. I'm Bill Spencer. The Spencer Solves the Team. All right, Bill. Thanks so much.